Hey guys, it's Tom from Something or Essay, and welcome to Behind the Scenes for May 2013. Just a little forewarning before we get into this, this month is looking kind of dry in terms of actual game content, but that's mostly because of the RS3 beta, which I will get into more details in in a little while. So first up on the list is the Nexus, which is members only. So what is the Nexus? It's going to be located in Lumbridge Swamp, and will be a social prayer training method aimed at low level players. This will get you enough XP to get you from levels 1 to 40, so it will just make those first few levels a little bit easier. And for those who are already above level 40, you can still use this, but you'll just get about 37k XP I believe, which is the amount of XP is required for level 40. Pretty much all there is to say on that, so let's move on. So next up on the list is God Emissaries, which is for both free-to-play players and members. This will be following the events of the World Wakes quest. There will be eight new NPCs called God Emissaries, and they will each represent one of eight factions, which will be for each god, including a godless faction for followers of Guthix, which is personally what I am. If you're a free-to-play player, then you'll simply just get a title and a wieldable standard to display your choice of faction. But if you're a member, then you'll also get to complete combat, skilling and exploration objectives. And completing these objectives will earn you some XP and will improve your battle standards with combat and skilling buffs. And you'll also get to earn a new helmet with level 60 hybrid combat stats. Sounds pretty exciting, so let's just move on. So next up on the list is Farmed and Dangerous. Yeah, get it? No. It's basically it's just 10 new plants which are aimed at levels 76 to 96, and they're just going to fill the lesser used farming plots such as hop, flowers, and allotments. So it'll make those plots a lot more useful when you're trading to 99. However, you won't just get farming XP, because these plants in particular are designed to also give you XP in a secondary skill. So, for example, the Venus Flytrap, if you manage to steal from it successfully, then you'll also get thieving XP. And there's also one that gives you strength training XP. And one that I want to particularly point out is this one that also gives construction skills, which is building a grapevine. You'll also be able to enhance God Brew potions with this plant. So I think that might be quite interesting if they could make Saradomin Brews useful again. But who knows. Next up is kind of a minor change but also a fairly important one. It's a bonus XP tidy up. Basically there are loads of different items in RuneScape that boost your XP and they're just going to tidy up the system so that these XP bonuses are in the style of the Recruiter Friend scheme, which applies the bonus to, you, to your account rather than being tied to a specific item. So basically what this means is, for example, the Squeal of Fortune necklaces that you get. You won't have to wear these to get the combat or skill bonus XP from them. So yeah, pretty useful update. Last on the list is the RuneScape 3 beta program, which I fortunately have been selected to test. Now, I am going to make videos about this, I will just show you guys what it looks like in general, but if there's anything that you want me to show you in particular, then leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you want to see. Unfortunately, I haven't been selected for the new interface system alpha just yet, but I'll let you guys know when I have been selected for that. And that's it for this month. Thank you guys very much for watching, and thank you very much for helping us reach 900 subscribers. I'm truly grateful for that. And I'll see you in the RuneScape 3 beta.